Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, we're going to talk and update uh, on the situation, um, on the security flaw that we talked about in um, basically uh, the exploiter zero day called Folina that was discovered last week. And um, it's something that's been ongoing for a while now. And it was actually, uh, there was proof of concept that was revealed. And the major people that are really being caught with this right now is uh, mostly enterprise uh, because of the way that enterprise works and, you know, the open documents and stuff. So uh, we know that a lot of it is, um, seems to be state-based more than anything else. It actually attacks in um, a zero-day zero flaw that's in the Microsoft Windows support diagnostic tool, the MSDT. Uh, here's, you know, gonna, I'm going to answer some of the questions that I've seen online as um, it's not clear for everybody. So the exploit seems and has been detected and first seen with, you know, malformed Word documents and Office documents um, that could actually exploit that zero day. Once again, um, it's all in the habits that you have. First of all, everybody that gets caught clicked or opened something they shouldn't have. And so that's why you're in the number one security. For all of those that posted as a comment, I got a good antivirus, so this is, you know, I, I don't have any any uh, chances of having problems with this, you are totally ignorant about what security is. And that is exactly why a lot of people get bitten. They think antivirus is there to help you stay safe. It doesn't do that much. Don't rely on it. It's not true that antivirus really protects you. You're protecting yourself. And the uh, zero day, a lot of people are asking me, so if I don't have Office or Word, I'm safe. It's not just Word. It can through various ways. Uh, for example, if you have WordPad, everybody's got WordPad on their PC. Uh, WordPad is capable of also being exploited through this. Um, actually, a malformed WordPad document can actually open and, and, and exploit the uh, Microsoft support diagnostic tool. So that's why... What they're trying to say is we try to kind of temporarily disable that uh, tool. If you are a home user, okay, honestly, and you are careful with what you do, the chances of this happening to you are very low. Enterprise is hit more, and right now what we see is a bunch of government, um, government exploits that are happening through uh, European governments and even uh, U.S. governments. And this, of course, has to do with the fact that when you are in an enterprise or when you are in, you know, uh, government computer systems, um, the, the amount of tasks and things that you have to do is much bigger than in a home user most of the time. And part of it is opening and checking out emails, attachments, and sending and receiving documents. So for enterprise, the guidelines to... Um, disable temporarily the Microsoft diagnostic tool. I think it should be done uh, for enterprise, yes, because there is a much higher danger in businesses and government um, to get that problem from one of the employees that might open by accident something that actually uses or exploits a zero day. At home, I do not recommend doing so because I don't think it's much of a problem. And just be careful what you do and make sure that whatever you open, whatever you do is done and you know what it is and that you are you know it's safe. And by you know it's safe, it's not, oh, it's be, this is from my friend, it's safe. No, safe meaning I know what this is, I know what that person is sending me and I know that then that's something I could open safely. Uh, do not rely on the fact that it's friends or family that know what they do on a computer. That is not a good way of, you know, keeping safe. So, 
just hang in there. Um, other things can be exploited also. It's not just Word, uh, WordPad, and probably a bunch of other things that you do on the computer probably can also trigger this. But it has to do with you opening something bad or clicking on something bad, not just a regular day-to-day -day doing your stuff on the Internet. So right now what we mostly see is really government and enterprise being hit much more than the regular users at home. So I uh, hope it answers some questions. And uh, don't worry too much about it. But remember, you are the number one security. You're the one that decides when something happens, um, you know, if it's going to go bad or not. And remember, um, and for the other thing, uh, some of you have been asking, you know, when the fix is going to be there. There's a f an official fix by a company, which is Opatch, that often has little fixes here and there that they send out. But um, I believe this will be probably fixed next week and patch Tuesday. So the second Tuesday of June will be next week, June 13th. So um, I believe that is when it's going to be um, the June 14th, sorry, June 14th, Tuesday, June 14th. And I believe that's when it's going to be fixed. So um, of course, um, a week before probably the fix happens. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.